people are being lied to about the ramifications of the homosexual death style. Lies, deception, and intimidation are tools that Satan is using to promote his wicked agenda in these last days. Remember, the scripture says that Satan has transformed himself into an angel of light. Remember, every time you study our Lord's teachings on the last days, one of the first warnings he gives is he warns us about being deceived. The devil has done a good job making sin look good. Making folk in the church long to be in the club. Making people who are in a good marriage feel like they're missing the excitement so they chase an adulterous relationship. Satan has done a good job. He made Eve think that God was holding out on her. See, Satan is good at making you think that evil is good and good is evil. This is why you have to protect your mind. And as a believer, you have to be a thinker. I said, wait a minute. I can't let the devil trick me on this. Holiness is right. God's way is the best way. Don't let the propaganda machine, television, convince you. And television is steady telling us that the Christians are the problem. The Christians are the problem. The churches hear the word of God. People who walk in the spirit of error hear the world. And hear preachers who don't preach God's word. And there's a spirit of error that has just encompassed the black community because we're so gullible to the lies of Satan. Love has be re been redefined today. Love today as it is exercised is you go along with the person no matter what you do, what they do. That's how you show, you show them that you love them. Even if they're killing themselves, I love you so much I'm going to let you do it. Guy's getting ready to get with a guy. He's going to hurt himself. Getting ready to get into a relationship. A girl's getting ready to get with a girl because you love her. She's my daughter and I love her. And if she wants to be with a female, I love her and I support her. That's love. That is not love. That's, that's foolishness. That's, that's being deceived. That's the trick of Satan. Holiness is right until it's our children. Holiness is right until it's your husband or your wife, your nephew, your friend. The Bible is right until it's your family. But let me tell you something, the Bible is right before your family member was born, and the Bible will be right when your family member is dead and gone. You got to just stand on the Word of God. You got to stand on the Word of God. You got to stand on the Word of God. Praise the Lord. It may hurt you, but stand on the Word of God. It may make you feel good for a while, but if you, if you don't come out of it and let God set you free, it will destroy you. The devil want to destroy you. But I'm here to tell you that Jesus said, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Right. Anyone here who have discovered that there is life in Jesus, that he is the way maker and that he'll give you joy on the inside if you know what I'm talking about give God praise for his joy giving life giving power hallelujah do I have anybody here who can say he brought me out brought me out of sin no matter what the sin is when he brought you out didn't he clean you up when he brought you out don't it feel good to be free when he brought you out that's nothing like living out, living out of sin, living out of the devil's work, and free to have the Holy Ghost on the inside. You got peace. You know that no matter what you're going through right now, that if you just wait on the Lord, he will come through in time. If you just wait on the Lord, he will deliver. What a peace, what a joy. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take him at his word. Just to lean upon his promise. Just to know that saith the Lord. Oh, I'm trying to get you to come out and get what God has for you. Hey man, God's got a wife for you. Hey woman, God's got a husband for you. Don't settle with the devil's substitute. 
You ought to come out and say, Lord, give me your best. Oh, I wish I had somebody pray with me. No matter who you are today, if you're settling for sin, you're settling for less than what God has for you. There's a better way, there's a better life, there's a higher plane. You know what this scripture is?